Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are joining me for the first time today. My name is Lucy and today I created this gorgeous look using the brand new P. Louise Worldy collection. So if you do want to have a little peep inside the new collection and also see how I created this look then please do make sure to keep on watching. So I'm far too excited to wait any longer. I'm gonna jump right in and show you guys the collection. I'm sure you guys are really excited to see it and I'm very, very excited to show you it. So honestly, when I say this is probably the best and most detailed and thoughtful PR package I have ever received. Over the years, I have definitely received my fair few share of PR packages, but this one, in my opinion, tops them all. I'm actually gonna have to zoom out to even show you this because it is so huge. But this collection has literally come in a whole briefcase. When I do a little close up of this briefcase, you can even just see all of the tiny details on it. That's the front and then here is the back. It's just literally head to toe covered in detail and little writing and stamps. Honestly, nothing goes unmissed with the PR packages from P. Louise. They literally remember every fine detail. The amazing thing about this package is that it actually is a proper briefcase. So she's made it so that you can actually use this again again and like take the products out and reuse it in the future which is just incredible. I literally don't even know how I'm going to show you this. So this is how the package looks inside. Now when I tell you I can't even imagine how much money a page has put into each of these packages. Like this briefcase alone without the products was probably super super expensive to manufacture and I'm just feeling very very grateful that I received one of these because it is literally incredible. Now this is really super heavy to hold right now so I think I'm going to put it down and just pick out each individual item and show you them that way. So the first things I'm going to show you is the brand new lip products so they finally come out with lip liners i've been waiting for p louise lip liners for so long so in these two boxes here they are just the two separate shades of the lip liners i will show you them in a second but even just the box alone like can we take a second to appreciate how incredible this packaging is she's obviously designed it as a boarding pass so you can see at the top p louise boarding pass and then it says passenger bad bitch departing from your comfort zone to destination success, departure time, the time is now. So that's that one. And then the other one is the exact same, but in silver as opposed to gold. And honestly, I am just completely obsessed with these boxes. Like every tiny detail through this collection, nothing has been missed. So here are the lip liners. They have come in the most gorgeous pink packaging as expected from the P. Louise brand. I like that they are just so simplistic. There's not too much going on with the lip liner packaging. It's just the pencil you've got the colors at the end so you can tell which one is which and then on the packaging it says P Louise and then the shade names the two that they've brought out to begin with is achievements and standards the lids pop off and then they are just twirl up lip liners which I actually really like so this darker one down at the bottom here this one is in the shade standards which is a darker sort of burgundy brown shade which is very very classic for the P Louise girls if you guys follow the P Louise Academy Instagram you would have seen them use dark lip liners like this all the time they are so good to getting the perfect nude ombre lip and the one above it up here is in the shade achievements which is a lighter nude i can compare it slightly to trendsetter by huda beauty which is actually one of my favorite lip liners of all time i'm absolutely obsessed with that color because it's not too dark but it's not too light and it's definitely going to give you definition without looking overpowering on your lips so with the lip liners also it came a matching lipstick i'm not gonna lie i don't remember remember which one came with which lip liner but it doesn't really matter too much. So these are the bullet lipsticks by P. Louise. Again such simple but classy packaging. I'm obsessed with the pink colour and when I tell you these feel expensive like they are heavy. These are not just any old cheap random lipsticks. You can tell Paige has definitely put so much time thought and energy into getting this packaging correct. It's got a really nice strong magnet on the lid of the lipstick to keep the lid in place. And the lipsticks are obviously bullet lipsticks, so they are a sort of sheeny formula. I don't exactly know the right terminology for it, but it's not a matte lipstick, but it's definitely not too sheer. It's kind of in the middle. So this one here is in the shade Heights. I'm just gonna swatch that for you. As you can see, this is definitely a lighter nude. It's got sort of corally, peachy under 
tones and it will go really nicely with the lighter lip liner. And then this one here is in the shade Take Off, which I will swatch just next door. This one is definitely more pinky toned. So there's one that's more coral and one that's more pink. They are super, super, super comfortable to wear on the lips. They don't feel like they are making your mouth feel dry at all. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with these lipsticks. So next up in the collection, we have the brushes. And this is literally the most incredible packaging I have ever seen for brushes in my entire life. The brushes aren't actually in here at the moment because I have used them in a look already, but I'm gonna show you the packaging and then show you the brushes separate because I can't not show you this packaging. On the side, it says a passport to success. And then on the front, it says, and so the adventure begins. Spread your wings, babe, you're flying. And it's meant to be a little passport. So when you open it up, again, this gold foiled writing is carried the whole way through the entire packaging which is just stunning. On the first page here, you've got your little stamps, which they do in real life passports. And then on this page here, it says, am I heading in the right direction? And then it's got this actual little turny, I've forgotten what they're called, the little spinner thing, and you can spin it and see what it lands on. I just think that so much thought has gone into each individual item of packaging in this whole collection. Turning pages, we have passport control. So there is actually a whole section here that you can fill in yourself. It's basically, manifesting your future and your dreams and your plans. And then on the next page, this is obviously where the brushes were. It literally has a tiny little mirror in the packaging. I think the idea of this was so that you can read this all out whilst you're looking at yourself in the mirror as though you're saying it to yourself. And these are the three little brushes that came in that booklet. They are obviously very tiny little travel sized brushes. They are super cute and they will be perfect for me because you guys know I love to use small little blend brushes when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks. Again, we've carried on the gold accents through the whole of the packaging, including on the handle of the brushes. It's got the little world map on it, but mapped out in gold, which I just think is absolutely stunning. And finally, onto the main event, which is the worldy palette. So this palette here is literally unlike any palette I've ever seen before. They've literally made it so that it's got sand inside the packaging, so it moves. I can't remember what the actual term for this is, but it's so satisfying. This obviously isn't a PR only palette as well. Everyone who purchases this palette will get the exact same palette, so you will still get this sand effect in yours as well. It is quite a big palette. Some people don't like the fact that Paige does these huge chunky palettes, but I think that they are quite quirky. The only thing is they are hard to store because it's not like a thin, small little palette that you can chuck in your drawers. You kind of have to display these, but I mean, I don't mind displaying it because it's stunning. So there's a little clasp down here which has the little compass symbol on it, which just again is another little feature that leads you into the palette. And when you open it up, we have literally the most stunning array of blues, greens, purples, browns. I just think this palette is so beautiful. I'm not sure how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but she has also stamped into the middle row of the palette the name Worldy, which is obviously what the palette is called. It's just everything down to the very, very tiny details. Nothing has been missed. I know I've said that about four times, but seriously, they made sure to think about every single aspect of this collection and it really does go to show. So obviously with the palette being called Worldy, they have gone for the world sort of colors. So they've gone for like sea blues and some greens and earthy colors. And then you've got a pop of purple and orange down here just to complement the tones of the greens and the blues as well. I have already used this palette. I've done a look with all of these products already, which I will pop on the screen now. I am going to be posting that on my Instagram very soon, so please make sure to keep an eye out for that and show some love when I post it. But I already know from using it before that this palette is amazing, but I'm going to use some of the different shades in this palette today. Enough talking, I'm going to get straight in with the eyeshadow and I'm going to start by prepping my eyes with the P. Louise base as always. So I'm taking the shade Rumor 2 from the original P. Louise base and I'm just going to apply this all over over my lids and then pat it in with a kabuki brush. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shade Down Under, which is this gorgeous dark plum, sort of maroony shade. And I'm gonna take that on my Lily England 102 flat packing brush and just pack that all over my lid and start to wing it out to the side. I believe that by the time I'm uploading this, the collection should have already launched. If it hasn't, it is launching on the 1st of September. And if you are purchasing it, please do remember to use my 
my discount code, which is LSG Makeup 10. I literally cannot wait to see you guys receiving this palette because I think you guys are gonna love it just as much as I do. The one thing I think I would say about this palette is that I am missing the fact that there's no black or white in this palette. As I said in some of my previous videos, I believe that any great palette should have a black and a white in it as well as all the other colors. Just to sort of make life easier so you don't have to go dipping between loads of different palettes to get the shades you need. Something I also didn't mention is that this is, I think, the first P. Louise palette with shimmer shades in it. I know that P. Louise herself isn't a great fan of shimmer shades, and to be honest, nor am I, but it's definitely nice that they've incorporated three into this palette just so you have the option to use them if you wish to. So here are the three shimmer shades. They are super pigmented. This bronzy gold one in particular is stunning, and it went on my hand so easily. Now I'm gonna be taking the middle sized blending brush out of the Weldy brush set and I'm gonna go in with the shade First Class which is the beautiful purple shade in the palette. Now as I did just mention, the palette doesn't have any sort of light blending white transition sort of colors. So I am just gonna go in with my pressed powder on a small little fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna use this to blend out the tops of the purple. This is a really great tip for anyone who's doing an eyeshadow look with a palette that doesn't have like a lighter white or a cream color to blend out their colors with. Pressed powder works really, really well for doing that. Now, as I always like to do, I'm just gonna go back in with the same colors I've already used and just make sure that my blend is looking as flawless as I want it to before moving in with the next colors. Okay, so now I have that purple shade all nicely blended out and winged out to the side of my eye. I think what I wanna do is do a pop of one of these beautiful lime green shades right on the top of my lid because I feel like it will complement the purple shades really nicely. To do so, I'm gonna start by just taking a little bit more of the P. Louise base and I'm just gonna sort of pat that all over the middle of my eyelid and then I'm just literally going to pat the green on top of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom you in so you can really see what I'm talking about. This green shade is super, super, super chalky, and I'm sure you can see how drying it looks on my eyelids. I was kind of expecting that because a lot of the time that brands have like a light yellow or a really super light green in their palettes, they're never really that opaque. I know that it's just to do with the way that the shadow is formulated and the pigmentation in it. I can see that this shade would be lovely for blending, like blending the colors out, but definitely it's not one to pack onto your lids because this looks super, super dry. In fact, it didn't even pick up with the brush at all. I tried to start with this brush to pack it onto my lid and I ended up actually using my little beauty sponge, which definitely worked better at packing the shade on, but it definitely still looks very patchy. So I've just gone ahead and finished up my base. I'm realizing now that my eyes are looking like kind of creepy. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead and just smoke out the lash line with this dark purple shade because my eyes are definitely looking very weird right now. I'm just gonna take a Morphe M508 tiny little smudging brush and I'm gonna take the shade down under again and just smoke that across my top lash line and join it up to the outer edge. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do something which I'm actually not entirely sure if it's gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead again with the original P. Louise base and I'm just gonna basically pat that onto my waterline and then I'm gonna go in with a packing brush and pack that same green shade that's on my lid into my waterline. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back in with the shade down under on the same smudging brush and I'm gonna start to smudge that underneath my lower lash line. I'm also making sure I'm just joining that up to the wing on the outer edge. Then I'm taking the smallest Weldy collection brush and I'm going back in with the shade First Class, which was the purple, and just smudging that underneath. 
Now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This one is the Revlon Volumazing Mascara. To finish off my eye look, I'm just gonna go in with a pair of lashes. These are the Danielle Lashes by Dull Beauty. I actually do have a discount code for you guys if you wanted to get some Dull Beauty lashes for yourself. My code is LSGMAKEUP30, which gets you 30% off. I will also attach that into the description below in case you forget. I really love Dull Beauty lashes. They are definitely up there with one of my favorite lash brands at the moment. They're just so wispy and dramatic basically they're everything that I want in a lash especially when I'm doing quite a bold eye look and for the final step we're going to go on to lips so I'm actually going to take the standards lip liner which was the slightly darker one out of the two and I'm just going to start by lining my lips with this And then I'm gonna take the shade Take Off, which was the lighter pink shade of the lipstick, and I'm gonna go in the middle with that. And this, you guys, is my finished look using the brand new P. Louise Worldy Collection. Honestly, I know I've said it throughout the video, but I really am obsessed with this collection. I think it's definitely my favorite collection that P. Louise have brought out so far. Just another reminder that you guys can use my discount code, which is LSGMAKEUP10 on the P. Louise website. You can use that code on the cosmetics and on the courses on the website as well. I really hope you guys did enjoy watching this video, and if you did, then please make sure to leave me a big thumbs up, a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and for now I think I'm going to leave this video here so thank you so 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 much again for watching as always and I hope to catch you in my next one bye